The Way to a Wealthy Life. About this book, so many people think that positive thinking is saying I am wealthy five minutes a day for a month or so and that this will get them anything. The purpose of this book and also my blog, http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us is to target the specific areas and concepts that people tend to overlook or that get by them most frequently. Hopefully, after reading this little book, you will see that there is more involved than just repeating some affirmations over and over. It is my sincere hope that this book will put those who are earnestly trying to change their lives for the better on the right track. You are free to give this book away so long as you leave it just as it is, links included. Copyright Brian Beshaw. Discover and live your life's true purpose. HTTP colon slash slash www.superstarshome.com Find the very best resources on this material at HTTP colon slash slash www.howtobcomeamillionaire.us 1. Chapter 1, What Do You Want? When one begins a journey, usually they have a specific destination in mind. In other words, what do you want? This seems to be the hardest part, actually. Ask the average person what do they want, and they will say, oh that's easy. I want a lot of money. I want a million dollars. I want to win the lotto. So on and so on. In point of fact, they really don't give too much thought to their desire and this is one of the main reasons it remains wishful thinking. It doesn't matter how many times they say it out loud. It won't change anything for them. It is well known among experienced marketers that money is often not a good motivator. How can this be so? One reason is that a digit with a lot of zeros behind it is fairly meaningless to most people. Just look at our national debt. More importantly, our subconscious mind tends to have a whole different concept of number than we do. Therefore it is taught to look at the value behind the money. In other words, what changes to your life will X amount of money bring? Can you see this change in your mind's eye? Can you put yourself there and imagine it and feel it? How will your relationships be different? Can you wrap your mind around this new life with passion? Do this with all your desires. Look deep into them and try them on for size. If you can't see yourself in a certain situation or place, it may mean that this desire doesn't come from your heart and you will have difficulty realizing it then. You need to enlist the power of your higher self to manifest good things for you. In deciding what you want, you need to connect with the innermost desires of your heart. Be willing to spend a little time on this, and if you haven't thought about what you want or don't know, try the following technique. Take a sheet of paper and, on one side, write what you do not want. If we list the fears that are common to most all people, what you don't. Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www.howtobcomeamillionaire.us. Want will probably fall under one of these categories, fear of poverty, fear of loss of love, fear of age, fear of death. After you have written what you do not want, go to the other side of the paper and write its opposite. Here is a free online resource that will help you out in formulating your goals and it will also give you a technique to know what might be blocking you from achieving these things. HTTP colon slash slash www dot how to become a millionaire dot us slash guides final dot zip. Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www dot how to become a millionaire dot us. 2. Chapter 2, Roadblocks Blocks can be anything from a negative attitude about wealth to personal issues about self-worth, fear of success and self-confidence. If you go to the website above and follow the instructions, you should soon have a list of the things that come up and try to negate your desires. It is often a mistake to assume that you do not have any of these blocks as most of them come from the very society that we live in. One thing you must learn to do, if you wish to get somewhere with this work is to listen to your thoughts. For more information about blocks over money, visit my blog, 
http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us There you will find a wealth of resource on all these topics. And now I would like to direct you to a most amazing resource. It is called DEFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. F1 of the most popular forms of psychotherapy has been to dig down into your past experiences and find any event that may have caused you emotional trauma so as to resolve the issue. One method of resolution has been to go back and confront whoever might have caused you this trauma. The drawbacks to this line of work are that it is extremely time consuming and often painful. Additionally the person may no longer be around or they may refuse to see your side of it and this will just cause you to go to another level of anger. Overall, it can be rather like bailing out a sinking ship with a thimble and may even create problems where there were none before. Consider this, all blocks or traumas of this sort have a specific location in our bodies. This fact is what has made certain authors like Napoleon Hill to state that poverty is a disease. It is the constant worry over money and stress and anxiety that cause the person to physically break down and perhaps die at too young an age. Now consider this, if your mind can affect your body, the reverse is true. This is where F comes in. By simple and easy to do adjustments to your energy fields, you can be rid of your blocks in a remarkably Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us. Short time. If you are interested, go to their site and sign up for their newsletter. You will get a complete EFT manual that will teach you the complete working technique. Http colon slash slash www.imofree.com slash default dot htm. Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www.howtobcomeamillionaire.us. 3. Chapter 3 Wrong Turns Perhaps You Think You've Heard All This Before. Right now you are saying, I've heard this before just say I'm wealthy. Over and over and manna will fall from the heavens. Well I've tried positive thinking before and it doesn't work, or it doesn't work for me. Well, that's true. Positive thinking by itself is not very effective. We're back to bailing out that sinking ship with a thimble. At Dale Carnegie's suggestion, Napoleon Hill interviewed over 500 rich and successful people in an effort to derive a system that others could use to elevate themselves to success and riches. The product of this research was Think and Grow Rich, and in this book, Hill professes to mention the secret no less than 100 times. If you've never read this book, it is highly recommended. You can get a free copy of this book as well as 49 other self-help classics by following this link http colon slash slash www.zahipat.com slash oldschool.htm Let us take a close look at a technique that is given in this book, Mr. Hill advises the reader to set a very specific goal for whatever it is that they want. You can read more about the details of proper goal setting either in Think and Grow Rich, or also look in the personal goal setting category of this blog http colon slash slash www.howtobcomeamillionaire.us It's very important to do the goal setting right. What you are trying to accomplish with this special type of goal setting is to get your subconscious mind to respond with ideas. Many prosperity teachers have stated that our thoughts are the instruments by which we manifest the prosperity that is all around us. This means that our subconscious is connected to the one universal mind and therefore has access to data and wisdom that our conscious mind does not. Through the use of these special goals, we tap into a higher authority that will guide us into taking right action as, opportunities that seemed hidden before, begin to appear to us. Mr. Hill relates how inventive geniuses like Edison and Tesla regularly used this method to get inspiration. So the first point you need to understand is this, the object of this work is to create an accurate picture of your desire in your subconscious mind. Step 1. 
Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us. Keep in mind that your subconscious is very literal. What this means is that if you are repeating over and over I am wealthy, but, at the same time, you are worried about bills or thinking no I'm not, you're back with that thimble in your hands. Also, your subconscious mind works with images and feelings, not so much with the logic of your conscious mind. It is one reason why you have these two different types of mind. Therefore you must communicate your desires to your subconscious largely by feelings. Create whatever feelings are appropriate to already having your desire. Also, always phrase your affirmations in the present tense, not I want, but I have or I am. This can be done with the right types of meditation techniques, done two to three times every day, until you manifest your desire. Again visit my blog for more resources on these types of meditations, http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us important to keep in mind, however, that it is not enough to do the meditations and then revert to your normal state of mind, if it is one of worry and negativity. What you are after is a complete change of outlook, thought and attitude. A complete change of being. If you wish to change your life for the better, you must first change your mind for the better. Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us. 4. Chapter 4, Right Action, Step 2. Another misconception in this area of work is that people fail to realize that they will be required to take action. Before you go running off to take action, however, there are a couple of things that you need to be clear on. If you will recall, the object of step 1, from the previous chapter, is to impress upon your subconscious mind a clear picture of your desire. And what is the outcome of this? Your subconscious will begin to speak to you. You may think this sounds real voodoo, but Napoleon Hill relates, in his book, of how scientific geniuses like Edison and Tesla kept notebooks handy to quickly jot down ideas as they came. Beethoven kept notebooks nearby. The muse doesn't punch a time clock, you have to be ready and listening. Keep a notebook, then, and write down the ideas that come to you. Don't work hard at this trying to come up with ideas. Let them come to you. People and events will synchronously appear to you as opportunities to take action. Needed information will be acquired. This, then, is right action, taking action on the ideas that your subconscious mind brings you. Get into the habit of asking your subconscious mind for help. Ask your subconscious mind for ideas that will create wealth for you and enrich your life. Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us. 5. Chapter 5, The Two Roads It is important to understand that there are two distinct types of goals and there is an important difference in the way they are made and used. The first type of goal is the long-term goal. The long-term goals are your bigger dreams your sustainable motivation or mission statement, if you will. Even though these are called long term, you must put them in writing and use them in the present tense. You must only ever think of these goals as it feels to already have attained them and you must do this constantly. The other type of goal is a short term goal. 90 days is the most common length. This second type of goal can only reasonably be set after your subconscious mind has given you a definite idea to act upon. You need to start with some sort of basic plan of action to get started and you must track what you do. Tracking gives you an idea of what sort of results you are getting from the particular action you are taking. Only then can you begin to start setting some realistic 90-day goals. The short-term goals can provide the roadmap to get you to your bigger goals. You should set a new one every 90 days, adjusting it by using the information you get by tracking. Again, always write down all your goals and refer to them frequently. 
Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us. 6. Chapter 6. More the aim of this book, as I have said, is to point out several areas of misconception that people have about so-called positive thinking and using affirmations. Thinking alone is not enough. You must use your emotions in a positive way and learn to feel what it is like to already be in possession of your desire. You must avoid attaching any feelings of frustration or even wanting to your desires. On top of this, you must not be obsessive about your desires and goals. After you have meditated on them, you must let go of them and be open to how your subconscious mind might bring it to you. This is a problem because you can't relapse into negative thinking the rest of the day. It is therefore good to keep a number of more general affirmations handy to balance out negative thoughts that come up. For example, if you find yourself starting to worry about money, use an affirmation that says you always have plenty of money and feel that it is so. Affirmations about how your subconscious mind is responding to your goal statements in a positive way and guiding you and providing for you are very helpful as well. This brings us to the final topic of this little book, Spiritual Laws of Prosperity. There are spiritual laws of prosperity that are very powerful. Again, my aim with this book and my blog is to discuss the important components of this work that people need to put into action to get results. If you will notice, in this book and on my blog, I devote no time to trying to prove what I say. I would consider this a waste of time. I'm perfectly happy to say that this is what I believe and leave it at that. I'm not the only one and you can see, in my blog, that I have faithfully documented all my sources. It is not my intention to reinvent the wheel. I simply think that a lot of the finer points about this work go right by people and, if they saw it once again, all in one place, it might really be of some help. By the same token, I have no intention of entering into any type of theological discussion and end up trying to give a definition of spirit or God. Find the very best resources on this material at http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us. Just like all the material above, the spiritual laws of prosperity are well documented in quite a few excellent books. Here, I give just a few of the titles that I really feel are among the best. There are so many excellent books on the topics presented in this book. For other titles than are listed here, go to my blog. You can also get a free 7-day course on wealth manifestation http colon slash slash www.howtobecomeamillionaire.us again, I encourage you to visit this website, where you will find 50 self-help classics for free as well as many other great resources, http colon slash slash www.zahipad.com slash oldschool.htm a few titles to get you started. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill Creative Visualization by Shakti Gow The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy For Spiritual Laws of Prosperity, The Dynamic Laws of Prosperity by Catherine Bonder